and welcome to a new show. I'm your host, Jerry Aquino. You know, right off the top, this is our last show of our second season, and we want to thank all of our loyal viewers for tuning in every week. Paul, Jenny, Judy, thank you. We also have super viewers, like our moms, you know, people that want to bang us, and also haters. Oh, haters are the best. They replay these episodes over and over to their friends to show them how shitty we are. We still get the views, so it's fine. It works out. But seriously, I'm going to make a commitment right here, right now, that if this episode gets at least five likes on Instagram and at least three likes on YouTube, we'll return for a third season. I'm afraid I set the bar a little too high on that one. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully we'll be able to turn this into a daily news show so we don't have to wait a whole week to talk about big news stories like the return of slapstick comedy at the 94th Academy Awards. Huh? Woo! A whole week has gone by and Will Smith is still at the Dolby Theater. Yeah, he hasn't been escorted out yet. The Academy refuses to ask him to leave. I mean, they said they asked him, but did they? I mean, kind of sketch, right? I don't know. The Academy said they didn't remove Smith because Chris Rock said it wasn't necessary. Now look, I work in a bar. If somebody hits somebody else, they're like, no, 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 that's Uncle Tio. He gets like that when you bring up his lawnmower. It's a sensitive topic, that makes sense. But that's at a dive bar. Since when is the Academy Awards a dive bar? <laughs> all he needs is a pool table with all his next game quarters laid across the table with Quentin Tarantino hogging it. Like, yeah, you can play when you beat me. <laughs> Just feel like that's who would be at the pool table. Were you guys like me when Will Smith was walking up to Chris Rock? Like, oh shit, this is gonna be good. This is about to be funny. What's gonna happen? This is exciting. And then he slapped him. And you were like, oh no, did he really just, oh, okay, yeah, that was real. That happened. If you're like me, the first time you saw this clip was when an eager friend ran over to you with their phone, like, yo, did you see Will Smith smack the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars? And then you watch it on their phone while they hold it all majestic-like because they're super proud to be the first one to show you that clip. And then you see it and you're like, fuck. And then they're like, yeah, it was actually blocked in America. So I had to download the Japanese version just to show you. But I know, I know, we'll move on. That was like a thousand TikToks ago. But you know what, can I just say? Some comedians were critical of Chris Rock using a 25 year old movie in his joke. But another way to restate their criticism is to say, I can't believe he used an iconic movie with an iconic hairstyle that everyone in the audience immediately knew in a two second joke. It's almost like he writes jokes for a living. This is profession, right? Yeah. The joke compared Jada to Demi Moore in her most iconic role where she was at peak fitness and oh, peak scrumptiousness. Had Chris Rock been trying to insult Jada, he would have gone with actual terrible options like, Jada, you know I love you, but I'm really looking forward to seeing you take over the Mr. Clean campaign. See? Yeah, totally hack, right? Really looking forward to seeing you in the Annie version live too, Daddy Warbucks becomes a mommy. Also would have sucked. He could have brought up a reference that nobody would have gotten, like a reboot of Kojak. What's Kojak? You see, no, I didn't, no one gets it. I didn't get it. <sighs> he could have said, I can't wait to see you in the Al Roker story. Or the Steve Harvey, Harvey story. Or the Al Roker, Steve Harvey story. <laughs> Either one. The point is, the man's a genius. I think he did his thing. I think he did his due diligence and gave the props where the props were due. What sucks so much is that that slap completely overshadowed the fact that the 94th Academy Awards show had a black director, a black musical director, the first gay Afro-Latina to win Best Supporting Actress, the second deaf actor to win an Academy Award in its history, and then the beautiful white Jessica Chastain won for the eyes of Tammy Faye because, you know, not everything changes overnight, folks. And that's okay. <laughs> We congratulate her. There is other news though. A new Omicron subvariant is out now. Not to fear though. If you didn't pick up the last version, you can still do so at Ross Dress for Less where you can pick up everything else that came out last year. <laughs> That's important. It's important to know how to shop for a bargain. Yes. Big science news. In Switzerland, 
A paralyzed man said his first words in months with a brain implant. His first words, I want a beer. Ironically, the last words he said before his accident were, here, hold my beer. <laughs> rap music is in the news. The New York Times has reported that prosecutors have used rap lyrics as evidence in criminal cases, claiming the lyrics can be used as a confession. In a study, participants considered rap song lyrics to be a confession, but country song lyrics to be artistic expression which explains how Johnny Cash remained unincarcerated for decades after directly confessing to shooting a man in Reno just to watch him die. <laughs> that reference was for you, Judy. Russian troops began leaving the Chernobyl nuclear plant after soldiers got significant doses of radiation from digging trenches at the site. One soldier commented, this is terrible. I want to return to the comfort of my own home in Russia, where I can be poisoned by my own president. It's the little things that you miss like that. Senators Debbie Stabenow and Lisa Murkowski, you can tell me how I pronounce those later, um, have introduced a bill that would allow public schools to offer free meals to all students for another year. And after that, kids will have to get up off of their asses and work. It seems like no one wants to work these days. But you know who does want to work? Climate activist Greta Thunberg. She has compiled a handbook for tackling climate change and other envi environmental crises, crises that will be published in October. Many people are already looking forward to not reading the book and throwing it immediately into a landfill. <laughs> so we'll just... Started nearly two decades ago, scientists say they have decoded the human genome, which is the set of instructions to build and sustain a human being, guys, okay? The scientists have finally found the missing pieces to the puzzle of life, which were described as the recipe for a Taco Bell Chalupa Supreme, a TikTok video of cats, and a recovered password for a Pornhub Premium <laughs> account. I don't think I'm allowed to say that on TV, so they... That was how they censored me. We have more show for you guys, so stick around. Tired of saying the wrong thing? Use Listerine. It's guaranteed to prevent gingivitis, fight plaque, and keep Jada Pinkett Smith's name out your fucking mouth! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jerry Aquino, and I'm at the desk now. This just in. Will Smith has resigned from the Film Academy. He will no longer be a member of the Academy and will no longer enjoy all the benefits it comes with. Good thing he won that Oscar already, because it won't be happening again, mister. No more party favors for you, huh? Yeah, squeaked by on that one. Can I say real quick that Chris Rock had the best comeback when Will was like, keep my wife's name out your fu- that Chris was like, I'm going to, okay? I'm going to. Perfect. De-escalation tactic. He's a peaceful man. He's non-confrontational, graceful. We love you, Chris. In other news, in a historic win for the labor movement, warehouse workers at Amazon have voted to form the first union inside an Amazon facility. And upon hearing the news, Will Smith immediately requested membership. I mean, he's free. He's looking for, he's in the market now, right? Gas prices keep going up, so the White House on Thursday announced plans for the largest ever release of oil from the United States Strategic Reserves. And where are those strategic reserves? Rudy Giuliani's head. It's like an emergency button. You can only push it once. In other news, the House has passed a bill to immortalize Ruth Bader Ginsburg with her own statue. Oh, thank God, I thought you meant resurrecting her like a vampire. That would have made sense. Democrats are hoping to preserve her legacy as an advocate for women's rights, while Republicans just fucking love statues. I mean, look at them. Look at them go. <laughs> they get off on that shit. I don't know what happened. They're like, yeah, statues! Just fucking about it. Can't explain why. And finally, it's been five weeks since Russia invaded Ukraine. Five weeks. Can you believe it? That's two and a half fortnights. A fortnight is two weeks. I know that because of Game of Thrones. That's... That was my one takeaway. But now Ukraine is on the offensive and actually taking back parts of itself and actually making strikes inside of Russia. It's as if Putin was like, you want your country back so bad, you come and take it. 
And Ukraine was like, I'm going to, okay? And that does it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Until next time, I'm Jerry Aquino. Bye.